Hey guys, welcome back. Link 16 Jitsu here, uh, out of order, uh, to another episode of Harvest Block. Uh, I have a special treat for you guys. I am recording a video almost immediately after I recorded another video. Exciting! Uh, I did forget some stuff, and of course I remembered right after, so now was the perfect time to bring it up. Um, I'm going to go over to a tour of Alex's stuff, which is perfect, because that's something I wanted to do in the last video, but ran out of time and forgot. Any roads. I don't need permission. Oh, and you've got a oh. iron on your head. Yeah, that was accidental, but I like it. <laughs> How'd you do that? I, uh, I bought too much iron at the store. Oh. Yeah, I've actually got quite a bit of packed ice on my body that you can't see. Yeah, well, I noticed. I noticed that in your uh, recent uh, episodes, you have like a full <laughs> of. Yeah. Dice. I think I did like two episodes before I even saw that it was there. Let's start by not breaking your things. Oh! You got that gold down in there in your grill? Well, I ran out of iron when I made this one. <laughs> yeah, it happens. I know so about that. So there's actually, there's actually like gold inside of it. <laughs> Alright, where do you want to start? It's, uh, it's changed since the last time you were here. When you mistakenly came by, this was I took out that little opening here, so that's all cleared up. I like how this this uh, looks with the path. Oh, it looks really good in uh, like the, the text pack I'm using because it looks like a uh, like a what's it, a granite stone mm. cobble. -ish. It looks really cool with the andersite. Well, you should be pleased to know that vanilla looks good as well. Oh, sweet. Uh, you can see my, uh, sort of, uh, solar lights. Right, they're they're backwards, though. You want your lights on during the day. Oh, well, no, this actually keeps the, the light, the uh, mobs from spawning in the area, because I just figure, like, torches look ugly. Yeah, they do. So, these lights only, so... God, that was a lot of course to get all these, but <laughs> yeah. But I figured like, yeah, this looks a little bit more professional since so this is supposed to be, you know, the common, the well, technically the unofficial Harvest Block game zone. Uh, I mean, you're you're in the lead as far as gaming. Okay. Well, the first uh, mini game, mini golf. Mini golf, yes, I remember. I still need to get like the. So do you have all 18 holes? I have up to, I think it's 14. 14 or 15 holes completed. 14, okay. So you start one easy. And, oh, I'm sliding because, oh, okay, I see. Yeah, that adds, that adds the actual rolling to the game. And then also, to make sure there wasn't any lag, we can move look over here. As soon as you make the hole, glowstone pops up. Oh, wow. That's neat. And it does that for every hole. Yeah, so how... Where's where's the windmill I have to get it through? The windmill, I gotta roll it up into like a clown oh, mouth or something? I, I don't know how actually I'm gonna implement that. I, I know that the last hole, hole 18 is gonna have some sort of crazy redstone contraption in it, but that, I don't know, I'm not sure. I really like this. Just being in the area, it's just pleasant to have. I have, um, it's not a, a resource pack, but it does tweak some stuff, like, kind of like Optifine, where all the grass is green. Oh, oh you're doing, like, a vanilla modified or whatnot? Yeah. So it's, it's just, it's pleasant to be in the area, because everything looks so clean, and for the most part, safe. Well, that's why I like SPAC so much. Like, it's just a really nice, clean texture. I go back to, I go back to default, and it's like, oh! It's like, this is what it looks like? <laughs> so yeah, the front, uh, the front nine introduces, uh, gimmicks that will be sort of like a, so, it's sort of like a tutorial, nine holes. It shows you exactly what you have to avoid. You got these rough bunkers here, huh? I got rough bunkers, I've got barriers. Yeah, this is really neat. Oh, you got, you got these hostile holes? I'm, oh. I'm, I'm mapping out the what the holes are gonna look like, and then I'm 
food and do what I want with them. And, uh, unfortunately, I've run out of space, because now I have to get a few more holes in. I think this is, like, hole 14 right here. I think. So I have to put hole 15 through this, through this, through here, and then... You know, I don't have any torches. Yes, I do. I'm going to do this, because I don't want any more mobs spawning in the area. Thank you. I wish I could make a day for you, but I didn't bring a bed. That's okay. This is not officially open yet. <laughs> like a construction site and whatnot. Oh, I stole your kill. That's alright. I don't. Oh. I only had two arrows, but I seem to be picking them up as I go. Well, that's why you need to get an infinity bow. Yeah, I usually just have so much. I, I think I have like three of them. I just keep leaving them in chests. <laughs> Gosh darn it, I'm gonna have to talk to the- I'm gonna have to talk to the manager of this area to get this area mob free! Yeah, this is worrisome. I think there needs to be some sort of sign <laughs> on the building. Man, the, man the, the manager's gonna kill me. I'm gonna be complaining about his game zone. I was like, did I miss something? How do I leave? Yeah, this is- I'm gonna have that closed oh. off so that I'd be like- so this is- I have, I have a real golf course. Is where you, like, you can only enter it at one spot and exit at one spot. At least that was the original idea. <laughs> Alright, so what's next? I, I, I'm not. The next, well, the next one is the one you've unofficially won against Stickman. Unofficially? What does that mean? Well, you, uh. Okay, okay, call that officially. The blocky game that you played before. Yeah, yeah. Did I. I put that up. I did for sure. I just didn't have any audio, really. Yeah, I was gonna say, you didn't have any audio on that one. I didn't, I, I didn't, uh, actually get a chance to, like, look around at everything, because I was down in the core. Wow, you got a lot of things up here. Oh yeah, it's almost, it's basically, the only thing that's not automated is the, uh, scoring system. Everything else is. Wow. Oh, yeah. Man, I like how you were able to, to construct something pretty around it. Well, it's like the, like, after I constructed the, constructed the building here, I was like, yeah, every building that's going to have a game is going to have this similar style, so that there's a theme going on. Well, except for, uh, Steeplechase over there. I love the colors. <laughs> well, that's the, that's the, uh, the arcade, and it's supposed to look like that, and chaotic, so it actually, OCD people are going to be ticked off that it's going to be, uh, not symmetrical. <laughs> yeah, I, I like that. I, I really like the, uh, the, the Adicite Diary. I don't even... That's Diary. Yeah, it's Diary. That's... On SPAC, it's a completely white uh, stone block. Yeah, I, sh I should invest in getting resource packs so I can share your glory. I have a problem. Gambling problem, I hear. Yeah. Well, there's a f stupid witch on top of my game. No! I don't care about your wares. Go somewhere else. Wow, she seems sad. Ah, uh, she did. Oh, can't be sad anymore. Alright. So, you don't get in the minecart and ride it. No. But, I, th I think after last time we saw, I added a little feature to it. This little thing Oh, right wow. That's handy, so you... So it can be... Wow. Hmm. So, because originally... You know, I was like, oh, you could play, you know, blue and green, but then yellow and red still go. And then if those win, nobody wins. And you didn't find a practical way to get the uh, minecarts to put themselves up? No, I've been seeing a lot of things that aren't round, and it's just like, it's a huge, it'd be a huge terraform underground, even just to do it. I mean, I would have to rebuild the entire game just to, re to retrofit it. I know that I could have... I know the way I can actually put the minecarts in the dispenser and have them launched automatically all at once, but having them uh, send them up there is, is virtually un... Yeah. It takes, a, it takes a, a crap ton of iron just to transport just... Because I have to fill up the entire uh, four uh, dispensers all with minecarts, so that's six iron apiece with nine. It, it might be worth it just to have... Because um, if you chuck a... a 
dropper under these, or not dropper, a, uh, a hopper. It might just be worth it to have the dispensers up there, so every once in a while you have to transport them, but otherwise you don't have to place them. Yeah, I'm, I'm... I do like how they look sitting there, though. So let's, let's play. I'm going to win right now. Um, Alright, what's your color? I'm picking yellow. You're picking yellow? Then I will, uh, I'll pick green. So I will disable blue and red. And so now we will start. Alright, I'll show, show my people how you, you, you win at this. And, oh, come on, green. Oh, and yellow wins. Yeah, that's how it's done. You guys see how good I am at this game. I'm Irish, so there was no chance for you. I'm sorry. Oh. The arcade with the only automatic door <laughs> on it. This is still a work in progress. I'm gonna put. I'm probably gonna put like a little bit of an elevator here for like a second floor club. I need a place where I can gamble away my my minerals. Well, I still Figure out a way to properly, uh, like, uh, like this one here. You have to have golden nuggets to, pet, to play. And it's completely random on the uh, reward you get. Me. I just, I just switched my push to talk and I'm forgetting to press the button. Oh. So I was going to put more games in here, but I just realized there was a lot of, there was a lot of mini contraptions, but they take up so much space. So I figured, I'll just, I'll keep it as four games. It should be simple. I am going to be switching this out for something different, though. A different, better design. This, uh, dunk tank. It times out too, too quickly when the chunks are not loaded. I might remove it and replace it with something different. So unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, I'm really... I'm a huge fan of all the uh, the glass colors. Um, anybody who's uh, watched for a long time knows I have issues with glass colors. Are you going to try to pressure your luck? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me, tell me. What do I got to do? Oh, well, you just got to stand on the pressure plate. That's all you do. Stay on the pressure plate for the duration of the game. And if it makes it up to the top, you win one of these prizes, randomized. And sometimes it may not trigger, but that's because you just have, uh, unfortunately, bad luck. So if it doesn't trigger, you have to jump off, wait about a second, and then just try it again. No, no, Game Maker, let me, let me see you perform. Man, listen to that bass. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to get it to a win because it is by random. Oh. Aha! Uh -huh. Almost got it. I was gonna talk. I was gonna say some things. Oh, one exit. That's a fire hazard. Oh, complain to I'll send a complaint to, to the manager. Actually, like done an overview of your entire place. It's pretty large. It is neat. This one is actually kind of like the most colorful one, though. It's uh, Polar is the game. Ow! I just hit myself with a bow. Oh! A fishing pole mini game. <laughs> Cyan, or like the light blue, dark blue, and green color for all the colors for everything on it. 
it all looks good. So how does this one work? Well, you grab a fishing pole from the chest. And then to the opposite side. As you see, there are pressure plates on three sectors. By touching one, a piston pops out on the on the floor on the next level down. So what it is, what you're trying to do is you come down here and you have to throw the fishing pole and hit the pressure plates and try to knock your opponent into the pit. While trying at the same time not having your opponent not do the same. Also, you, oh, I did, I did a boop, boop there, but you're not technically supposed to jump, because technically you can avoid it that way. Oh, see, there you go. It's, a uh, unique, but it's a simple game at, at best. Hope it does use the least amount of redstone required. It's pretty great. I, I, I got too into it, though. <laughs> Simple that. And I just, like, you know, I went with the color set, like, you know, we're gonna go with the, uh... I was gonna go, like, with the sandstone, the red sandstone color, but I was like, you know what? The prison main blocks actually look really well with sandstone. Yeah, actually, wow. I haven't used them at all. Um, I, didn't, I didn't realize there was, like, purple in there. I like it. I just realized that because I just looked at it and it wasn't purple. Yeah, now it's now green. Okay, I need. I, so. I don't play enough. <laughs> uh, so this is goat carts. Oh, I've seen this. Well, not this, but I've seen the game. This is amazing, you guys. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm forgetting to talk because I have Alex. Um, I have my voice muted to Alex, but uh, I'm just sitting here with a big smile on my face. I've, I've yeah, I, uh, hang on, guys. Yeah, I've seen um, I've seen this in other videos, but I didn't realize how difficult it was. This is awesome. Oh, it's just. to block off whoever whoever loses. <laughs> Let's see, the other essentially the last game I have and it's still I'm still testing on whatever I want to do with it though. It's over here. And essentially Archery is what it's called. Where you have to be flung into the air while riding your boat, and while in the air, shoot the targets. Wipe out type deal. Try again and try to build one of those. You've got some prime real estate here. Well, I'm, all, I'm all over the place. <laughs> I really. I, I didn't realize it, but looking at it, I see how. All the uh, mountains and stuff are squared, and that's awesome. Well, I didn't even, actually didn't realize how square off they were. Well, I can originally pick this area because there was a village over here, and I was like, oh cool, I have a village nearby, and then uh, they regen the terrain, and the village was destroyed, along with the villagers. 